Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past Issue of Skin. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining. Today, we're going to be playing Transference, the Walter Test. The demo for Transference VR. We've got the VR hooked up again. But I needed to try some more. And since this is a demo, it means that I can, I know it's going to be one of those contained experiences that I can jump into and not lose half of my day in. Because that's the biggest problem. VR games, because they're so immersive, you have no idea how long you're actually playing them for. So let's get ourselves set up and ready to rock and roll in another VR world. Boop. Oh, where did my cable go? Boop. Wired in. Locked in. Here we are. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just getting my earplugs as well. That sounds about right. Ah. Oh. ah. Okay, made with Unity. Good for you. Ba -da -ba 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 -dum. Ba -da -bum 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 -ba -dum. Um. Read before playing. Very small percentage of individual may experience epileptic seizures. Ah, that's alright. If I start speaking in tongues, somebody tell me. Warn me. Somebody call the cops! Yeah, they weren't joking about the epilepsy. Ubisoft. Never hard, Ubisoft. Yay! I want things to actually be kind of like an old movie. I like that. I just turned on the volume a tiny touch because I'm a bit Hello, my name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter, let's say. Now, this experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of his traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a corded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. <laughs> you are completely uh, safe. That's a face of surety right years, there. This technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world and you the very few lucky ones that are here today are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. Very nice. I actually like the VHS green. Now, I'm curious, looking at that, was that actual proper VHS green or was that digital green? Whoa. You? Okay. Huh. You're not supposed to be here. Uh. Said that I wasn't meant to be here the first time and then turned off the light, so I'm coming back. Oh. Thoughts blocks. Ah, that's... Wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. I actually like the reflection. I like the concept of actually being able to use the back of an object to reflect. Oh, obviously, I can't see me. But. Kind of cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dr. Gantz. Oh. Okay. So empty beers. 
we forget to turn off the light? No, no, no. Go along, son! I'm pretty sure being locked in the closet is not your traumatic defense, kid, so get back to this. Tetraline antidepressant. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm the dad. You never do anything anymore. Kiddo. What's going on? Yes, I'm a bad kid. Interesting. Are you even there? Yeah, I am, kid. Jeez, chill. I'm exploring. I am an opposite stranger wandering through your dad's memories. Why so. I'm waiting like that kid out. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Version of memory, just a little twisted and stuff. A bit glitchy. Like any rooms that he probably didn't go into in his memory aren't actually here. Boom! Football! Breathe, move, live, football! Yep, you're turning off. <laughs> she looked like, I am not going to poltergeist myself here. Can't give in. Just can't give in. Never stop, never stopping. Okay. So, I was in Iraq in 91. Go. Leave you message after the tone. messages.
This is dark as shit, man. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability of the Taliban regime. We are joined in this operation by our staunch friend, Great Britain. Other close friends, including Canada, Australia, Germany, and France have pledged forces as the operation unfolds. More than 40 countries in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and across Asia have granted air transit or landing rights. Many more have shared intelligence. We are supported by the collective will of the world. More than two weeks ago, I gave Taliban leaders a series of clear and specific demands. Good afternoon. On my orders, the United States military has begun struck. Well, uh, that's wonderfully publicized. So. Oh, shit. Oh. If you didn't want me, why did you even have me? Afraid to kill a baby, tough guy? Some fucking pro-life shit? Afraid to- ah! Whoa! There's none down here. Back in 93, the sun didn't shoot me in the fucking face. Um, yeah, that caught me off guard. Nothing lit up here, so. I think better go over to where everything's lit up. Sound. Back upstairs. Son. Oh god, this kid's gonna scare the shit out of me. You're not supposed to be here. I can't believe I looked up to him. I looked up to him. Some goddamn hero. as they were. Um, we go down and pick some more. Beer, it's a bad idea. And there's Ted's cap. Um, like the ball. Yeah. Feels weird because I'm essentially thinking, did I finish the thing I need to do? I put stuff back the way they were. 
What else in the park that I haven't seen? I don't appear to be interactable down here anymore. That's all the stuff that I needed. Here's a go. I want to go to the kid's bedroom now. I said that I shouldn't go there, but I think. If I had them to take back to the kids and just go like, hey, you know, these are yours, all right? Say sorry for some shit. Talk like a normal person. But it doesn't look like it's happening. Let's see where we go next. Okay. I don't like the fact that the kid keeps sending me back saying you're not meant to be here. I'm like, where the fuck am I trying to be here for you? Shot again, just can't believe I looked up to him. I looked up some goddamn hero couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family, we're a bunch of goddamn POWs. That was interesting. Trigger warning! That's a lot of things I should say for trigger warning. My apologies for anybody who was caught off guard by that. Damn! Huh. So I don't, it wasn't even the dad's memory, it was actually the son's memory? Huh. Well, and on that depressing note, let's jump out of the VR. Wow. <clears throat> oh. That was ever so slightly intense. Um, I do like it though. Uh, proper good horror. Um, yeah, horror theming. Uh, VR wander around. Click on the objects. Enjoy the experience. Uh, transference. That was quite. That was quite dark and impressive. I like the aesthetic of it being um, almost 1980s esque kind of uh, technologies. With the VHS and stuff. Oh, so whenever I say 80s ask, I suppose it is. Essentially, with it being set in 93, it makes sense. Uh, but the actual, like, the v VHS kind of intro as well. 
I am intrigued. I'm entertained. And um, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing some more. That's what I would like to see. So yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. That was um, dark and tragic. And if you actually suffer from any problems that are um, touched upon this, uh, either you're in a situation where somebody is hurting you, or if you actually trying to deal with something that actually has happened in the past, uh, don't avoid medication. Don't avoid uh, people who actually want to talk to you. Uh, Go to experience and train counselors. Don't try to go completely on your own. Um, a lot of it actually is on yourself to actually be able to work through things, but it's never, ever a bad thing to actually ask for help because it's hard out there and we all, all live through some our harrowing shit over time. Um, apologies if you didn't, weren't aware before actually watching this game, but I, that's, uh, that was pretty dark. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully see you all again in another video if I haven't scared you all off. If you want to see more stuff like this, uh, more uh, VR, horror, uh, jump scary kind of content, then do say so because this isn't what I would normally consider fun. <laughs> if other people want to see more of it, I just don't, I don't scream and shout and get all uh, up over the top about it. But sometimes this kind of stuff can really touch people on the, in a, a very distinct part of the brain that actually people want to see. So uh, yeah, check it out. Hopefully uh, Transference actually has, the larger experience kind of can translate that uh, that intensity into the full game. And we'll take a look at it maybe in the future. But thank you very much for watching. And we'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.